This simulation will allow students to test Newton's second law of motion. They will be able to tell the effect that the hanging mass and the total mass has on the acceleration of the object. The object is a hover puck, so you'll notice a slight air cushion underneath the puck. All students have to do is click on the masses tab, and it will tell them the mass of the hover puck and the mass of the hanging object. In this case, we have 900 and 100 for a total of 1,000 grams. Students will then start the experiment. It'll show in real time what's going to happen with the hover puck. It will then give students a readout on how much time it took to travel 20, 40, 60, 80, and finally one meter from its point of origin. The times are in milliseconds. The students will take this information into a graphing program, make a quick plot of position versus time, curve fit it with a squared relationship graph, and they should know from their kinematic equations that the graph constant is going to be half the acceleration of the car. So they would just take this value, double it, and they would get the acceleration of their car. Okay, they would then reset it. Then they can adjust things. So if they wanted to keep the total mass constant, maybe they want to decrease the puck by 100, increase the other side by 100, keeping the total mass of the system constant, just adding a greater force driving the system. They would start it, collect their new data, regraph it, get their new acceleration. After testing a few different uh, accelerating masses, they then might want to leave the hanging mass constant and change the total mass of the system. So maybe we want to decrease this mass to only 10 grams and then just adjust for each trial the mass of the puck. They can bring it up in um, to some really high values and they could also bring them down to some really low values. Okay, and this time when they start it, the puck will move much more gradually across the table. The driving force is quite small. The total mass of the system is quite large. Remember that remind your students that if they're plotting a graph of acceleration versus total mass to include both masses in their uh, values for the mass of the system.